Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. As you've seen from that opening shot, we've had non-stop rain for the last two days. Um, the rivers are a mess. Um, one we went to have a look at and it was just, like you say, brown, chocolate and bombing through. So what we've done today, just come to a little pond, um, hoping just for a few bites. Um, 10 or 20 fish today would be more than what we could expect. Um, so yeah, nice little short blog. The rest of the, the, the venues are, are a write off, so fingers crossed we can pick a few roach up from this little little pond. So yeah, let's get the gear set up. Right, really quickly, just go over the setup. It's my 14 foot um, John and Aculite, um, Shimano uh, Tecky and Reel. I think it's got four pound line on that used for the river. Um, I've got a, I just managed to slide it down a bit, a light, um, just a waggler, and that's down to a 1.7. Um, Bay of Pearl on bottom and a tiny size, I think it's an 18 hook. Um, so, yeah, that's the setup that I'll be using today. Just feeding maggot, I have got hemp, but I don't think I'm going to feed it today. Um, just using the um, just maggot. So, let's have a look at the swim, we're going to fish, and the bait for today. Right, so there's a simple bait tray for today. Little bits and pieces that you, you need depth plummet. Um, some light line and some small hooks the pick the scourge of course and literally I think it's about a pint of maggots um, and yeah that's the swim and I'm just going to be fishing rod tip down here so when I get the float in we'll have a look um, incidentally the shotting pattern on the float that I've got is spread out numbered eight um, so we'll get a slow fall in the water so yeah let's get a rod in the water So as I say, just fishing rod tip, um, there's the tip of the rod, there's the float. Um, it's about six to eight foot deep there. Um, and as you'll see the float is quite high and it will slowly settle as end number eight, take it down. And yeah, nice slow fall on the bait so, you know, it's, it's dropping through the water as natural as possible. And let's see if we can get a few bites. Just feeding the sprinkler of maggots, two or three maggots. I say it's been freezing the last couple of days and a lot of cold water's gone in. So yeah, let's see if we can get a bite. One fish is a start. Right, so there's the first roach of the day. A little tiny one on the drop. There's plenty of fish about topping. Um, Uncle Laz is with me and he's had quite a nice roach. So yeah, fingers crossed, that's an early fish. So, might get a few bites today, fingers crossed, but it's a start. Alright, uh, so just up the instead of a slightly better one. So, a slightly better roach, let's get him in and have a look at him. And there it is, a slightly better roach than the first one. So, you're waiting for the bites, but you expect that when it's this cold. The fish is absolutely freezing, freezing cold. So, I don't think it's ever going to be a bite of chuck today. But just good to be getting a few bites and lovely markings on it. Almost like gold in its head. It's silver. It's a lovely roach. Right, just tucked into a bit of a a better one. It's putting up a good fight. Just coming on the drop and in the last ten minutes just had a few waiting a while, about half an hour to get the first bite, but that's about three now in about a 10 minute period so and that is a slightly better one again so good signs and there we go always a plane going over but that's a lovely winter roach that lovely dark markings like the first like a bar of silver lovely fish that could be the fish of the day that because that's a conker that an absolute clonker let's get him in right so as you can see there the float is quite a long way up the water 
and this is what I'm talking about the slow fall of the float so it's that bait is slowly falling through the water slowly and what will happen is it'll you'll get to learn how the float falls and as you can see there now it's just got a number eight to go and it'll be on bottom and settled and there we go dotted right down although it doesn't look on the camera because it's zoomed right in it's dotted down as much as it'll go and that's how long it takes for the float to settle so you've got that bait falling through all the layers as natural as possible and when the water's this clear that's what you've got to do Present, presentation is, is key with getting any bites Right, just looked into a bit of a zoo creature. It's uh, been really quiet for the, what the hell is a tench? Freezing cold. <laughs> Let's get him in and see if we can get him in. Last fish I expected to see come up. Let's get him in and have a look at him. And there it is. A winter tinker. <laughs> Unbelievable, it is absolutely freezing today. And he is ice cold. He is absolutely ice cold. But what a lovely fish on a winter's day. Let's get this guy in the net. So I've not had many bites. I think that's only the fourth fish in a day. But yeah. Good to get a bit of a rod bender. Let's get him in the net. So on sessions like this, it's just a case of, you know, drip feeding maggots into the swim two or three at a time. And just sitting and waiting for that float to to bob under it's not going to happen very often today i don't think but just waiting for bites so my uncle's just on the next peg so i'm in a good nasa but when the rivers are a mess and and that there's not really much else you can do so yeah just waiting for that float to go under drip feeding a few maggots probably five or six maggots every now and again into the swim not loads to not overfeed them and yeah just a few maggots every now and again into the swim like that just to keep you know a steady bit of bait in the swim and see how we do so it's a few bites so far not loads but enough to keep it interesting there's another small little roach coming and they are absolutely they are ice cold today freezing cold but certainly warm in the palms. Great stuff. That's the acolyte. Bent into another one. It's another roach, it looks like another nice roach. We're grateful on this light rod. And yeah, let's say we set a target at, I think it was 10 fish, was it? 10, 20 fish? We must be near 10 now. Let's get into the afternoon. There we are, another nice roach. It's coming into the afternoon now. Um, and again, just the odd bite, not many, but all like new pennies. Lovely fish. And out the blue, clonking roach like that. Absolutely lovely fish. And and yeah, not had many bites today, but what, what I have had have been nice fish. So yeah, let's get this guy back. Coming to the end of the session now, so let's have a look at that final net. 
Right, so there's the final net of fish. I said at the start, the target was about 10, 20 fish. And I think we've got there and thereabouts and a lovely surprise. Just shows you never know. But yeah, a lovely net, a roach. And a few hours on a cold day where the rivers were unfishable. And it just shows you don't have to have you know, 20 pound nets of fish to have a good day. Just a few bites on the waggler. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll catch you all next time in tight lines.